Now, over the last few days, we've brought you lots of coverage of the scorching weather and wildfires in southern Europe. But today, we're going to focus on the extreme weather happening here in the UK. Cast your mind back to just how hot it was here last summer, because we too had wildfires, drought and record-breaking temperatures. Well, in a new report from the Met Office, they say all of that is a sign of things to come. Let's take a closer look, because for the first time ever last year in the UK, we exceeded 40 degrees. That was in England. And there were record temperatures in Wales and Scotland too. Northern Ireland was just 0.1 degrees off the all-time high. Well, the, re the report says that by the end of the, temp the century, these temperatures are actually going to feel cool. Bradley Harris has been looking at all of this in more detail. Bradley, good to see you tonight. I mean, this sounds like a really stark warning, doesn't it? Yeah, it really is, Tessa. And you mentioned that 40 degree record breaking temperature last year. Well, that was actually picked up by thermometers not far from where I'm standing on this farm right now. And of course, this report from the Met Office uh, shows us how our forever changing extreme temperatures are actually changing much quicker than average. Take this summer, for example. Yes, OK, it may look quite sunny now with blue skies behind me, but actually it's been really wet and really boggy these last few weeks. Compare that to last year in the summer, and it's the complete opposite. It was a scorcher of a summer, really, really hot. And this change of temperature, these changing climates are affecting all of us, particularly farmers who are keeping a close eye on what's going up there because it's having such an impact on what goes on down here. This field of wheat is almost ready for harvest, but there's a problem. Well, the whole area is waterlogged. We've got many areas like this around this field and other fields because the crop was planted late and we had the wrong weather afterwards. And this is a prime example. And that has an impact on where we get our food from. Exactly, and the problem we've got is that availability of food is less in areas like this, which means we've got less food on the supermarket shelves and so we have to import more from countries that probably grow food to lower standards than we do. You can see, Bradley, this crack here, how oh, deep yeah. this one is. I went to Andrew's farm last year when the land was bone dry and it's record-breaking summers like that which the Met Office are warning will be the average by 2060 if carbon emissions are as expected. By 2100, it will be a, a relative. It will be a cool year. Nine out of ten years will be warmer. Some may be very much warmer indeed. To give you an idea of the scale, uh, you know, the speed of this change, we're talking about a two degree rise in temperature in the next 80 years. The message from the Met Office couldn't be more clear. The UK's climate is changing. The record hot summer we saw last year meant several fire services declared major incidents and we saw disruption to our homes and power supply. We've gone from one extreme to the other. Really hot last year, really wet this year, which must be a good thing. It is in some situations, but at the minute it's caused us massive problems. We had an exceptionally wet March, April, which meant we couldn't get the crops in when we wanted to get them in. This is known as, as, as an ear of, of, of barley. Now, there's two lines of grains up either side of that. Normally, those ears will be probably a third longer than they are here. And so, of course, when you look at it, yeah, all that these... the same. same. They're all the same. They should be so much longer. And, of course, that is lost tons and, and lost food. This is one way farmers are trying to be more sustainable, swapping bagged fertiliser for sewage. It can't be used on all crops in the food chain, but Andrew says it's a start. When someone flushes the toilet, that's the end of their problem, but then it's the start of a water company's problem by thinking, how do they get rid of it? And for us to put it on a land, put it on soil, and improve that soil texture and help to produce homegrown food, then that surely has to be a situation that we need to be doing. The extreme weather we've been facing will become more likely with climate change. But what that looks and feels like will depend on how the UK prepares for it. Bradley Harris, 5 News.